Today we're going to be demonstrating uh, additional views or the VE with air views that we do on a uh, when we're doing an enema. Now these views will be done in front of the single VE uh, positions that we've previously shown you. And the additional views that we're going to do, the first two views will be a right and a left lateral decubitus, and then we will do a PA uh, abdomen, and then we would go back into the routine, which would be AP, transverse, RPO, LPO, sigmoid, and lateral rectum. Again, these views get moved to the front. Um, now the patient is, uh, the techniques and stuff are going to change on this a little bit uh, when we get to the PA and the other views, and I'll explain that when we get there. Uh, but for a decubitus abdomen, like I said, this is going to be our first view that we do. So we're going to have the patient roll onto their right side. I do have a film holder here to hold the film. We're going to use a 14 by 17. Now this is going to be a grid. Uh, we don't have the clip on grid here, but this will be used as a grid. Okay. Underneath you. Okay. Now I'm going to palpate the crest and then since we are doing this is the right lateral decubitus and we are again we're looking a lot at the left uh, side here we want to be a little bit higher because the, the splenic flexure is a little bit higher so I'm going to put the film just about an inch or so above when I center here I'm going to center about an inch or so above the crest Okay. Have myself upside down where I always have the machine turn. So I'm going to center about an inch or so. Here's the crest. I'm going to go a little bit above that, superior to the crest there. Okay, and then I want to center about at the MSP. Okay, I do want to see light up here. Uh, you may see a little bit of light on the table. Well, collimation is going to be to the IR borders up and down. Okay, and this is a the patient is laying on their right side. The left side is up, so we will use a left marker. I'm going to mark the upside. And what we're going to see in this view is we're going to see we should see air uh, in the descending colon. We should see more barium should be in the ascending colon. Now the technique for this, because it's not going to be in the bucky, is going to be about 77 kV at 32 mass, and that's just an average. Okay, so this is our right lateral to cube. Now since the patient uh, is going to have a, a, the tip into their rectum there, we don't want to take and flip the, the patient to the other side of the table as we normally do on a decube like we do for chest. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to have the patient, if they would, to roll onto their stomach and then roll onto their left side. Okay? And the only time we really do this is for the enema because we don't want the patient to have to, to, to roll so much or move so much with the tip in. So again, we're going to take and centering for this. We are looking uh, a lot at the right side here, which the hepatic flexure is not quite as high. So our centering will be at the level of the crest. Then we're going to recenter our film. So centered there. Okay. And the patient is on their left side, so this is a left lateral cube, but the right side is up, and we want to mark the right side, the upside. And so we're using the right marker. Again, this is a grid. The technique is going to remain the same. It's going to be 77 kV at 32 mass. Uh, again, an average. And this is a grid. Now, in this view here, we should see uh, more barium in the descending colon, and the air should be more in the ascending colon. Okay? So these are our decubitus films. Now, the next thing we're going to do is going to be our PA view. So we're going to have the patient to go ahead and roll onto their stomach. We will use a 14 by 17, and it will be lengthwise. Since now the patient's on their stomach, the left side's here, so I'm going to use my left marker on this side. Got to get all the tubes set back up. Center to my film and center lock. Okay. okay. All right. So our centering for the PA view or PAKUB is just going to be palpating the crest. It's going to be at the level of the crest. 
and at the MSB, collimation is going to be to the skin margins, and it's going to be to the IR borders. Now, if you remember the next view that we would do, it would be the AP. So remember on the AP, I told you center a little below the crest. The PA, we're going to center at the level of the crest. Now, the techniques change a little bit when we go with the air because uh, air is a lot less dense than bearing. So uh, when, our, when we're starting to do our air BE here, now this is going to be the technique will be about 85 kV. So when we go to the AP and the transverse, the technique will still be 85 kV center cell. Then when we go to the obliques, the RPO and the LPO, it'll still be 85 kV, but plus one density. Then when we go to the sigmoid, it will be 85 kV plus two density. Then for the lateral rectum, it will be 85 kV plus three density. So the, the plus density doesn't change, but what does change is the kV from an air to a, uh, to a single. And it's just because the air is a lot less dense, so we don't need as much kV uh, to penetrate the patient. Okay, one other thing I want to do, to do want to talk to you about is if you're doing uh, a decubitus abdomen. Now, this is correct the way we're showing you here for uh, a decubitus abdomen for our barium enema. But if you're doing a, a decubitus abdomen on a patient, it's just coming down for they're looking for free air. The general rule of thumb is that you will do uh, a left lateral decubitus because they're generally they're trying to see the air is going to rise and if you have them on their left side, the, they're looking at air around uh, under the liver. If the patient was laying on their right side and the air rises to the left because of, of air being in the stomach, sometimes it can obstruct uh, seeing any free air. So if the patient, and sometimes they want to do both decubes, but if they're only ordering a decubitus abdomen for one decubitus abdomen, it will be a left lateral decub. So I just want to make sure that that's clear with you if you're doing a, just a left lateral cube abdomen. And these are our uh, additional films for our BE and decubitus abdomen films.